Good morning, my beautiful toucans. You guys have been in here for far too long. Oh my goodness. For a very long time. I think I got you on my birthday, like last year in April. Oh my goodness. It's almost April again. It's almost spring again. Oh my goodness. Okay, so we have lots to do. And I have an idea of how we can finally give our toucans a beautiful home of their own, which means we're going to have to make them exhibit. But where do toucans live? Well, my friends, they live in the Amazon rainforest. But we really don't have a rainforest area at the moment. But that means that we are going to have to build one. So, <laughs> I've done a lot of thinking of what I want to do next in this series, and we are going to go ahead and start making an Amazon rainforest zone. Oh my goodness. So, there are so many different animals in the rainforest. There's so many different plants and flowers and fruits and spices. I've done it just a little bit of research so far, and I'm sure I'm going to be doing tons more, and I'm going to work on, like, watching some documentaries on the rainforest and all that, but there's a lot. There's a lot to learn, and I'm excited, and I think we're going to be doing a lot of that learning together as we learn more about the rainforest and these beautiful toucans and different types of animals that also live in the rainforest. So I have over here a clipboard which says Project Rainforest on it, and this is going to give be my guide and help me uh, kind of uh, get everything together as we start working on the rainforest exhibit area. Oh my goodness, we are going to have lots to do. So some animals that I really want to have in the rainforest, of course, are beautiful toucans. And there's capybara, and we have giant anteaters, poisonous dart frogs, which I'll talk about in a minute, and also some jaguars. There are tons of other animals, too, that maybe we'll add in the the rainforest exhibit area. Uh, and maybe you guys can let me know if you guys have favorite animals that you can find in the rainforest. I know that there's some, there's snakes. There's tons and tons of snakes. So maybe we'll add like a snake exhibit or something like that as well. And then in the rainforest, there's also tons and tons of fruit, which brings me over here. Rainforest fruit. So doing a little bit of research, I found out that there's tons, tons and tons of fruits and plants, uh, but some fruit that I really want to go ahead and bring into our rainforest um, area. There's avocados and coconuts and figs, oranges, lemons, grapefruit, bananas, pineapples, and mango. And the rainforest is also known for having tons of different spices as well, like chocolate and cinnamon sugarcane, black pepper, cayenne, cloves, and ginger. Oh my goodness, there's so many different things. So we have a very big project on our hands here. We are going to get started. This is the moment that we are starting and planning out our new rainforest area. Oh my goodness, toucans, you're going to have a home of your very own. Daisy, are you excited? I'm excited. All right, so let's go ahead and give Daisy some puppy food as we start off on this very large project. And I do want to come over here to another animal that we have, which is our tiny little frog over here, Lemon. And I believe Lemon is a poisonous dart frog, which is perfect for the rainforest because if I look on my list over here, poisonous dart frogs are also in the rainforest. So not only will we give our toucans a home of their own very soon, well, I say soon, we'll see how it goes. But in the future, we'll give our toucans a home. And we're also going to work on giving Lemon, our poison dart frog, a home as well. So that is two animals that are in our animal rescue center that we have plans to relocate to their forever homes, which is so exciting. Little Lemon, little poisonous frog, you too will one day have a home of your very own soon. Oh my goodness. So this is great. This is amazing. So I'm doing what I set off to do uh, for this year was to try to get some of the animals that were in our rescue center and move them out into their very own exhibits, which looks like two of the uh, different areas are going to be relocated to the rainforest exhibit area very soon, which makes me very happy. So where are we going to go ahead and put that rainforest exhibit? Well, I've started a little bit. Hi, Josh. How are you doing today? And we also have Lily Kitty. Where are you? Hi, Lily Kitty. Um, but I've started an area just, just, just to start. Just a tiny little start, um, which we're going to have to do a ton more work, and we're going to have to do lots and lots of terraforming. 
because this area isn't oh my gosh hi what are you butterfly <gasps> butterfly uh i believe i'll have to do some research but i'm pretty sure there are also butterflies in the rainforest so uh maybe we'll work on making a butterfly exhibit too because that is perfect but if we head on over here this is a brand new area that uh, you guys haven't seen before because I have worked on it the past couple of days and we come down this area and there's this little tiny waterfall area and some water because that really made me uh, think of the rainforest. I was looking at pictures and there's tons of different lakes and waterfalls and different rivers which I thought this will give us, you know, a nice little peek of what is to come. Isn't that right, Daisy? Are you excited? You're always so hungry. Oh my goodness. Um, but yeah, so right next to our uh, puppy area and our rescue center, down this path will take us to the start of our rainforest zone. Oh my goodness. And I started making a path and, well, here it is. <laughs> So we're going to have to do a lot of uh, terraforming, like I said before. There's, there, We have lots to do. Unfortunately, we're going to have to uh, remove a lot of this dirt and a lot of this different foliage, but we will rebuild. We will have tons more foliage added into this area, tons more trees, tons more dirt and grasses, so don't you worry. Uh, but yeah, we are going to have to uh, remove a lot of this stuff. Because this over here is kind of where I want to have our rainforest zone. And it's going to be amazing. I'm very, very excited about it. And I think there's lots of different opportunities. Like maybe we'll even have like a little research center where we kind of learn about the different uh, levels of the rainforest canopy. Like there's the bottom level and then, and then way up top. There's different animals that live on the top of the rainforest. And at the bottom, there's different types of animals. So maybe we'll have like a little education research center to the kind of like show off that area i have tons of ideas oh my gosh daisy daisy this is gonna be a huge project uh all right so i guess the first thing we need to do is kind of get started and uh we're going to have to start removing a lot of this area so we can rebuild and make it better um it, it's gonna be a lot of work a little bit nervous about it but i think overall it's going to be very nice if I go ahead and look at my map, uh, let's see, where are we right now? Oh my goodness, look at that. There is our, there's our little farm area and there's our house. Um, and then we are right here, right here, right there. And I want kind of, I think this area, maybe from here to there to become our rainforest zone. So uh, it's kind of overgrown little bit too overgrown to put exhibits in and to make you know really an awesome habitats for our animals so we're gonna have to remove some stuff <laughs> we're gonna have to remove some stuff so we're gonna work on removing stuff i'm gonna save a lot of it too so that we can rebuild it somewhere else but for now it's gonna have to go we're gonna have to get rid of it which i know a lot of you are probably cringing but it's gonna be fine we're going to terraform and make it better so I have my very special enchanted rose shovel, which is going to help us kind of dig out an area um, for all of our rainforest animals. So uh, I guess let's go ahead and get started. Oh my goodness. It might look bad now. We're just removing tons and tons of stuff, but it's going to it's gonna be good. I promise we're going to terraform and add in tons more foliage. Oh my gosh. Hello. You're beautiful. <laughs> Little crow there. Um, there's also tons of like birds too, like macaws and all different kinds of things, which you guys can help me learn too. If you have any favorite animals that are in the rainforest that you really want to see added or talked about, uh, let me know down in the comment section and uh, maybe we can go ahead and add those animals into our rainforest area. I can go ahead and add them to the list, um, but I know a lot of people were very excited um, and did mention doing a rainforest area they mentioned jaguars and toucans, um, so it's going to be lots of fun. Hi, cow. You're not exactly a rainforest material, but uh, you can go ahead and hang out here for now. Uh, I'm going to try... I think I'll leave that mushroom for now, because I really do love these giant mushrooms. I just don't know how they're going to fit quite at the moment of our rainforest area. So, oh my goodness. I feel so bad. I, I hate 
removing tons and tons of like dirt like this but we will rebuild and we won't just make it a giant flat area we'll definitely have like different layers and levels and we're not just gonna completely flatten out this area even though it looks like i'm doing it right now oh my goodness it's gonna be fine though and it's also going to give us tons and tons of dirt which will be awesome so we'll have tons of dirt in our collection to go ahead and re-terraform um, a bunch of stuff so all right this is the very beginnings of an area which a long time from now hopefully we can look back and see uh, that we made the right choice and we made a very beautiful area even though we had to cut down a bunch of stuff oh my gosh hi mole holy moly hi you're cute your nose is cute you got a cute nose oh my gosh i love i love the animals here that we have in our minecraft world oh my goodness and there's boars over there oh my gosh those boars are scary uh the very first start of this series i was murdered by boars constantly like there were so many boars in this area and they just kept killing me because they get very territorial and they just like to, to kill and it's it was scary all right so lots of dirt and lots of different seeds <gasps> you know what maybe we can relocate some of these seeds into a greenhouse into our garden area too that'll be fun there's little mushrooms that we have uh we have some chive seeds some ferns some oak leaves uh, potato seeds, oh my goodness, and oak saplings, eggshells, not sure where that came from, hmm. Alright, so let's go ahead and collect some of this stuff, oh my goodness. I'm a little bit nervous uh, about taking down all this stuff, but we're gonna terraform. I just keep telling myself that, it makes me feel better that I'm going to re-terraform this area and not just make it a completely flat area, but we are going to re-terraform and build and plant trees. You guys saw the list, right? Like we're gonna plant, we're gonna plant a bunch of fruit trees, okay? It's gonna be great. It's gonna be fine. It's gonna be fine. All right, let's go ahead and remove that for now. I don't want to take out, like I know there's some very big trees, like this tree right here. I don't want to take the trees like this out, or at least not too many of them. Um, so I think I'm gonna try to leave a lot of those trees, um, in this area because I think they're really pretty and I think they will fit our reinforced theme. And if we have to dig out like dirt under them, we can always make them longer. So we'll have like epic, really tall, reinforced -y type of trees. All right, oh my goodness. So much dirt, so much dirt. So much things to do. Okay, it's gonna be fine. We're going to make a beautiful rainforest area. It's going to be okay. Ooh, what's this? Or, ooh, interesting. Very, very interesting. Oh my goodness. So let's go ahead. Oh my gosh. There's so much dirt. Oh no. No, 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 no. No, no, no. Skeletor. Skeletor, no. 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 Leave me alone. I'm just trying to build a rainforest. You don't understand. It's important. I'm so hungry right now. Uh, we do have some yummy, delicious food that we made in the last episode. I'm going to have some delicious feta cheesy. Feta cheesy? Feta cheesy Alfredo. Let's go ahead and have some of that right now. Oh my gosh, that is so filling! Oh, looks like that Skeletor dropped a bow. Very interesting. As you can see, I have lots of different dirt and seeds now as we uh, start to re-terraforming this area. Ooh, we got dill seeds. Interesting. So, so interesting. Uh, it looks like I barely even started, but I have tons and tons of dirt already. All right. We've got lots and lots of work ahead of us. Daisy, are you excited? Are you helping me pick up some of this dirt? I hope so. You look a little bit hungry too. Let's go ahead and give you some- oh my gosh, mole. You crazy. You crazy, mole. Uh, Daisy, here you go. Have some food. Yummy, delicious. Daisy, okay, so I have an idea. I know I've been focusing on trying to build an area for our toucans, but what if- now hear me out. So I made this kind of like little cave area over here. What if we make this really awesome like cave type of entrance and then we come out over here and there's just this, you can't really see it now, not quite, but what if there's just this really beautiful garden and we enclose it, we have like glass, we have a nice glass dome, and we just have tons and tons of butterflies that we collect in here. Oh my goodness! Guys, let's make an enclosed butterfly area too! I know that there's butterflies not just in the rainforest, but 
but I'm sure the rainforest does have tons and tons of butterflies. What if we make a really awesome like enclosed garden and we kind of like enclose it off over here we have like some type of fencing or walls um, over this way that connects right here and then we have this dome of glass that we can enclose like tons and tons of butterflies that we collect and they can live safely in like this beautiful little garden area oh my gosh guys <laughs> project rainforest is gonna have butterflies i think i think this has to happen all right butterflies 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 okay yes okay i get distracted but i get ideas i don't know sometimes ideas just pop in my head and we need butterflies this has to be butterfly land butterflies are gonna happen daisy you just wait i'm really hungry let's go ahead and have some rose red salmon of love let's go ahead and eat that <laughs> oh my goodness oh still hungry let's have some uh pumpkin pup puffs let's go ahead and eat some of that there we go and a lot of you guys um in the comment section were commenting on a uh, last episode about the enchanted rose restaurant and then you guys kind of realized that the enchanted rose restaurant wasn't made last year it was made two years ago almost two years ago oh my goodness okay so that restaurant has been around oh my gosh i'm poisoned <laughs> that restaurant has been around for a very long time which was a really good catch so thank you guys for uh noticing that but yeah almost two years ago we made the enchanted rose restaurant which i thought was pretty amazing all right so we have some ideas i'm going to continue out clearing this area a little bit more i definitely want to leave like this like little mountainous area so we can have this really awesome cave one day and we can come and go in here and find this beautiful like butterfly grotto we're gonna have a butterfly grotto that's what we're gonna have we're gonna have this beautiful butterfly grotto one day um over in this area i think and maybe we can have other types of bugs um in here too because i know the rainforest has thousands and thousands of different types of bugs that live there so yes butterfly house grotto butterfly grotto area in there and then i'm going to have to continue clearing out some more of this area so we can have room for our toucans and our lovely poisonous dart frog and then one day jaguars and ant eaters and even maybe some capybara so okay this is gonna be really fun lots of things to do and lots of things to plan but before we end this episode someone in the last uh, episode was uh very interested in seeing our chocobos. We have not seen our chocobos in such a long time, so I think we should go ahead and go on over there and maybe breed a baby chocobo. Um, and I think, was it Daisy? I'm not sure if it was Daisy or Poppy. Um, actually had some golden geishals in there. Yes, right here. So this is what you use to uh, breed our chocobos. So let's go ahead and grab these so we can go ahead and breed them. And then she has, actually has like a bunch more of these <laughs> in here too. Daisy, you really like the chocobos, don't you? Well, that's perfect because we're about to go ahead and check up on our chocobos. Um, so let's go ahead and explore and go ahead and check up on some animals that we really haven't seen in a very long time. I think that's very important too to kind of like go back to our older exhibits and go ahead and see the animals and see how they're doing maybe breed them up and feed them yes we're gonna do this we're gonna go ahead and visit our chocobos so they kind of live past our foxes which we're going to see right here we have our beautiful red foxes and their lovely family we have meadow and vixen and blix and there's todd over there todd the fox um, over here in our fox exhibit and then if we continue on this way we see shortcake and then we have our thylazins and we have our kiwi exhibits over this way but if we go over here oh my gosh beautiful little birdie hello birdie how are you um, but if we continue this way we go to a very interesting area uh, we see this pond right here and then we continue over this way we have an alligator <laughs> we actually have an alligator um in here too which i can show you guys really quickly just a little tiny alligator exhibit right here um uh, actually crocodile my mistake crocodile american crocodile alligators and crocodile are different um but we have a little crocodile right there and then we actually have a very special like spooky area that we did kind of for halloween over in this area and then if we continue on this way this path this this tunnel that i have not completed yet 
uh, we can actually go to our chocobo garden. Uh, and looks like there's a mole hanging out over here. Hi, mole. How are you doing today? Uh, but we have this very lovely, like, little garden area. And over here, we have some chocobos. So let's go ahead and see how they're doing. Uh, how do I get in? <laughs> um, help. Help. Chicken. Wait. Over here. I remember now. It's been so long since I've been over here to visit our beautiful chocobos. All right, so there are our chocobos. They like to uh, wander throughout this area. We have this really awesome choco. I don't know if I showed you guys this. Did I show you guys this before? I made like a giant chocobo statue here. Uh, we have our little chocobo garden with their favorite types of food in here. And then we kind of focus on breeding up our chocobos. And then here's Loverly, a uh, little bunny that we found. Oh my gosh. And there's Starburst and there's Chick. Um, all right. Yeah, let's go ahead and breed some chocobos. So, uh, maybe we can breed a white chocobo with a blue one? Maybe we can get a new color of chocobo today. Wouldn't that be so exciting? I think my original plan for this area was kind of have little type of uh, little houses. So we can have the green chocobos in there and the blue chocobos can live over here. And then we'll make a place for the yellow chocobos right there. And then the white chocobos can live in this area. And then I think there might be some other colors too, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, but yeah, this area is definitely not complete, but you can kind of see my vision of having like different chocobo areas, which we still need to complete. There's so many different projects that we need to do. Uh, well, let's go ahead and go over here. And uh, Cheek is a female. So let's go ahead and see if we can find a male uh, blue chocobo, which I think we might have one. Let's go ahead and pick you up right now and move you closer over here. Do we have a male blue one? We have Pluto, Noir, Ocean. Oh, Boko, you're still a little baby. Why are you still a little baby? Are you stuck? You must be stuck over here. Or maybe I just haven't been around enough for you to actually grow up. Oh my goodness. You're so cute. What are you doing? What are you doing, little one? Oh, there you go. Oh gosh, your childhood's over. <laughs> All right, well, I guess we can go ahead and breed Broco and Cheek together and see what type of baby they can make. Uh, let's go ahead and over here and make a beautiful baby. Can you breed? Wait, why, why are you not breeding? Why are you not breeding is? Wait, did I not tame you? Wait, are you tamed? I don't know, Daisy. Let me see what you have in your backpack. I might need some of these. Let's go ahead and grab these out here. And can we feed you these? No. Hmm. Interesting. I wonder why you don't want to take... Why don't you want my golden love? Uh, I guess you don't want it? Hmm. Interesting. Do I have a chocobo book somewhere? I might have one in this chest over here so we can kind of get an idea of what's going on. Uh, chocobo supplies. Where is my choco chest? Do I need a saddle? Let me go ahead and put a saddle on him. If you like it, then you should have put a saddle on it. If you like it, then you should have put a saddle on it. Whoa, oh, oh, whoa, oh, 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 whoa, oh, oh. Boko! Boko, do you want a saddle? All right, so we have a saddle. Why don't you want to take my love? Take it! Take my love! Make a baby. Uh, all right. Well, you don't want to. Maybe, maybe mint. Maybe uh, cheek and mint can have a beautiful baby then. Oh my gosh, they did it. They made a beautiful baby. <laughs> Look at you. You're so cute. Oh my goodness. How do we make a chocopedia? I'm not sure where my chocopedia went. Uh, might be useful to have one. Uh, we need a book. Gold ink and lapis. All right, let me go ahead and make one of those so we can figure out more about this little green chocobo that was just born and see if we can figure out why Boko is not in the mood of love. Oh no, we're under attack. We are under attack. Skeletor, leave me alone. Leave me alone. Oh, there's a spider in here. We need to light up this area more. It's not very safe, is it? Uh, spider, are you, are you angry? Uh, not yet, but you will be and you are right now. There we go. All right, so Boko, what's going on with you? Uh, cannot breed. Why can't you breed? Why? Why can't you breed, Boko? Hmm, maybe you're just too little still. Maybe you need to, like, 
spend some time as an adult and you can breed one day very interesting and then this little baby uh oh we gotta we gotta tame you don't we we gotta give you some of these there we go and you are a little female let's go ahead and show your name in tranquil interesting so little baby tranquil right right here you're very cute um let's see interesting so i guess you're gonna be kind of like the same color as mint one day cannot breed i guess yeah, we're going to have to wait some time for Boko to be able to breed. I guess uh, he just needs to spend some time as an adult. And then one day he can breed. So maybe we'll come back and breed Boko um, and Cheek in the future to see if we can make a different color chocobos. Uh, but yeah, very cool. I love this. So if you guys have a name suggestion for little baby Tranquil over here, let me know. And then maybe I can come back over here and rename her to something else. But look at her. She's so cute. Little Chikabo babies. They're so amazing. Mint, good job. You made a baby and it's very cute. What's going on over there? I don't even know. Uh, but yeah, so hope you guys enjoyed this episode as you crafting. And let me know what you guys think down in the comment section below. I have an arrow in my head. It looks a little painful, but I feel okay. I feel fine. <laughs> but yeah, so I will see you guys in the next episode. Have a wonderful day and goodbye. Bye. Bye, 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 bye. Goodbye.